Today we're going to be installing a blackout emblem kit on the annoying chrome pieces on these Toyotas. Welcome to Snail Trail 4x4, I'm Jimmy Jet. If you like building Toyotas and going off-roading, then this is the channel for you. Hit that subscribe button down below. Today we're going to be installing a blackout emblem kit on the chrome pieces on this Tacoma. This is a 2016 TRD Sport. Its name is Lucy. It's a good buddy of mine's truck, and I'm happy to be able to black out all that chrome. So we're going to get the Tacomas on each side and then the V6 back here on the tailgate. And then we also have the, the add-in fill-in um, section on the Tacoma as well. So that's what we're going to be doing today. It's a really easy install, so I hope you enjoy. So the first thing that we're going to do is we're going to actually clean this surface really well. I'm just going to use some isopropyl alcohol. Um, we want to clean it so it has the best chance to stick and stay on there. We're not going to have it fly off randomly driving down the road. Um, so I'm just going to squirt some isopropyl alcohol out on this rag and then wipe it down and clean it up. Now the emblems do only really adhere to the surface, the face of the, um, the lettering, but I want to clean all around it and, and get into some of the corners just so that no dirt and grime's in there and stuck underneath. So the emblem is just a piece of black ABS plastic that's designed and engineered to perfectly fit over the emblem. And it just has some 3M adhesive sticky tape on the back. So you can just grab the sticky tape and just pull it down and that exposes the actual adhesive. And then it's really as simple as place it over, make sure it fits. I like, I didn't go, don't go all the way down at first, just make sure it's in the right place like so, and then see how I can still pull it off and then push it down. Start from one edge and slide it across. There we go, black out. Now we'll do the same thing to the V6. There we go. Now for these black ones, this is the T right here. And um, it, is just has the 3M adhesive on the back. It's also a little bit thicker. It's not a sticker exactly. It's a, a little bit of a raised um, adhesive or it's the raised ABS plastic. And uh, it fits in there like perfect. It's in a great position. You can fit, once it's in place, you feel that it's exactly in the place that it needs to be. Um, and I'm happy I got this kit. Where is it right here? Th this style. Um, that has them all individual because then I can actually work with each one at the same time or at once at a time. And those long style to me, I'm just, I'd be concerned that if you're off a little bit one way or another, that you're going to be off on one of the letters. Now you probably can finagle it, but I didn't want to worry about it. I just wanted to try this style. Um, and so, all right, so we're going to clean this now. Um, we're going to clean all the letters and clean them out. And then we're going to start placing them all in. All right, now that everything's dried and it's all uh, ready, we're just going to peel off the back side of the T. And this one, because it's small at the bottom and gets wider at the top, I'm actually going to just start at the base lightly, very ever lightly, just sort of lay it in place. Make sure that it fits. And there you go. And then you just press that in. One done. Five more to go. Five more to go. Yeah, this actually works really well. Um, it doesn't stick it right directly immediately to the um, paint. So when you're putting it on there, you can actually move it around and feel where the center is in the best position. So see, I can wiggle it around right now and it's not stuck. And then when I find the right spot, I can push it and then it stays. I like the look of these elevated ones. It gives it more of a 3D of a pop kind of coming out. I know that they do make some sticker versions. I just don't think they look as good. All right, should we stop there, Taco? <laughs> <laughs> there we go. Taco Ma. Blackout emblem kit installed for the sport version. The kit we used has a, was a full set of a kit. It's got a bunch of limited SR5s and the 4x4s in there. They're kind of hard to see. 
this one came full stock. So I have some of these left over. If anybody needs these, hit me up in the comments below. But we're super happy with this outcome, man. The, it Just a simple little upgrade like that makes the world a difference and makes it look so much better. And like, I, we're really happy with the way that these letters pop out. It gives it a really good 3D look and it fills it in. Like it looked kind of hollow and empty, but now it looks so much better. So if you want any of these uh, blackout emblems, I'll put a link down in the description below, an Amazon affiliate link. I appreciate you guys buying them. It always comes back and helps the channel. Other than that, thanks for watching. Hammer down on that subscribe button. And don't forget, keep crawling.